This is my favorite place in the apartment. Our outdoor patio. Outdoor space like this in downtown LA is rare. I've lived in Los Angeles for nine years and have never had any space larger than a mid-sized balcony. This is 600 square feet of heaven. The original plan was to make this a space for dogs and gardening, thinking that I'd be able to do like a full-on urban garden solution. Then I realized I'm a murderer of herbs and strawberry plants, so now we just stick to hard-to-kill plants like succulents. My bird of paradise, perfect for outdoor, is struggling in this really hot LA summer. I'm told once the baby birds start growing in, they'll already be acclimated to the heat and sun, so they'll start to feel better soon. So hopefully in the upcoming months, more green, less brown. The main goal in life, really, is to make enough money to have a yard for the dogs. This is the next best thing. Levi loves all the space he has to play ball. And Luke, well, he likes the outdoors, but he prefers to settle down in any place with shade. Now for the dogs, I wanted to have nice artificial grass on the cement so it would be more comfortable for them to play on. And actually, there is such thing as easily removable doggy lawns for renters, but it comes at a price. Too steep of a price for me to pay right now. So instead, we filled out our first half with outdoor decking from Ikea, similar to the one that we have on our balcony, just a different color. And the back half is empty for now. I'm still deciding if we want to save up for the doggy lawn in the back half, but it's a nice visual division between the lounge area and the eating area. But let me know in the comment section what you think I should do. As I continue to introduce you to our new home, you'll begin to see that we've been able to make some really great quality furniture pieces from Article and West Elm with money-saving buys from Ikea, Facebook Marketplace, and even Goodwill. A comfortable couch was necessary because I knew I'd be spending a lot of time out here. This is from Article. So it's a two-piece sectional that you can connect to make an L shape, but we separated the two to make better use of the space. The couch is flanked by two outdoor pillows and a rug, both from Target. The coffee table and rocking chairs are both from Ikea, and the side table is from Urban Outfitters. To cover us from this terrible summer heat, I got this umbrella from Amazon, which actually covers a nice amount of space. For storage, I bought these rolling containers from the container store. This holds the covers for the couch as well as the projector for a movie area and other little knickknacks that we need outdoors but don't want to see all the time. Now to the side of the main seating area is actually one of my favorite walls of the house. We have this bench that was made by someone I found on Facebook Marketplace and it's just surrounded by succulents. So now we enter the back half. Now the star of the show is this custom built dining table and its benches, again from Alfonso from Facebook Marketplace. He built this and the seating bench for me all for cheaper than anywhere I found online. And plus, since it was a custom build, he was able to customize the color and the size that I wanted. This umbrella was also a find on Facebook Marketplace. It has a little bend to it, so it looks a little drunk most of the time, but at $50, I can hold on to it until it completely breaks off. Now, of course, you can't have an outdoor area without a grill. Brian and I are just starting to grill, so this is a beginner gas grill from Home Depot. It's two burners and a cooktop. I'm personally scared to use it still because with my look, I'd blow us all up if you all remember the kitchen fire of 2015. So I'm going to step back and let Brian do what he does best and just slowly learn as the summer goes on. Now, even though I love this space, it's been too, too hot to be on the patio for most of the day, probably starting from 11 a.m. to about 3 or 4 p.m. But once the sun starts to go down and the city lights light up, that is when the credits start rolling. Brian is a huge movie buff. 
When he's not traveling, all we do is watch movies. And this projector set from Amazon gives movie and date night a whole new appeal. Like I said, this area is my escape. That is our new patio area. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm really looking forward to unveiling the rest of the house that we've spent a lot of time working on for the past couple months. Uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to this video and my channel and I'll see you guys next week.